Eric, today's recipe is bacon and eggs in a basket. The ingredients for this dish are bacon, eggs, bread, that's your basket, salt and pepper, cooking spray, and foil, non-stick, or so it says. You're also gonna need a pan, for the pan will provide a vessel to carry your baking grease in. So as you go over your pants, today's liquid, I do not want to get on my legs and hurt me. The chain of events was public electricity, and in this case, it was free to be had. 100 feet of electricity cord, but that wasn't quite enough. We had to extend that further by having a power strip, and then another extension cord, and then the trusty iron. I turned that iron onto the linen setting. There is this tip to cooking bacon with an iron. You need to have something to collect that bacon grease, for that bacon grease is a big mess. I have lined an aluminum pan with so-called nonstick foil. Previous experience with this foil leads me to have to spray it with the nonstick cooking spray, which I never like to do, for I think I'm going to die. <sighs> so use caution with that part of the recipe. You may notice a white film on that camera, for that cooking spray spreads far and wide. Please tell your neighbors and warn anybody in the vicinity about this toxic OSHA feature and have them step away for they may get that in their lungs. You need two pieces of foil for after it is sprayed and very wet with that stuff, you gotta put the other piece down on it. Then you wedge that iron in there, making sure it can reach the bottom of the pan. This may be the most difficult part of the recipe. By picking the iron up, you may see if your indentation worked. It worked. You have a nice oval shape at the bottom of your cooking vessel. Next you need, next you need to add your bacon. <laughs> Pull your bacon apart. You need to put your bacon down in the same shape that you made by the imprintation of the iron. Put the foil down on top of that. And again, follow the sheet pattern that you made previously in the recipe. Make sure your iron's on high, for it needs to be high heat because you want the bacon to sizzle. Along the way in my iron cook recipes, I have found out that things just cook better with a reflective cooking source. So I'm putting a flat piece of aluminum underneath that iron. The heat needs to go into the recipe rather than being sucked up by the linen on the ironing board. Can you hear the sizzle? I hear it sizzling. We have success. You need to butter a piece of bread because you are making a toast with the egg inside and it takes a lot of butter. We need to make a cutout for the egg to fit into, so I'm pressing it with a cookie cutter, which happens to be in the shape of a heart, for we want to find love in their life. And we're starting with breakfast, and we're thinking heart is a nice little shape. I'm gonna butter the other side of the heart. I just wanna make sure it doesn't stick. Bread too. All right, done. The bacon will probably take, I don't know, maybe three to five minutes to cook. I'm hungry and it smells good. I'm ready for breakfast. I'm gonna take this time to reflect upon my beautiful surroundings. I'm in a beautiful park in Santa Barbara today where there's fish. Goldie was here and she saw all those fishes swimming in that pond and she said she wanted to go take a dip. She's been waiting for her phone to ring because she just damn needs a damn date. So bringing Goldie out to this beautiful place when she saw the fish in the pond, she wanted to be free of her isolation in that tank. She felt she needed to mingle and go to a disco. There's a lot of dancing and swimming going around. I don't know what's going on in the back corners of that there little pond. I'm hoping Goldie finds love. We all want happiness in our life. We all want to find love. We all want to meet somebody that just rocks us. So I see a little action. That water's got movement. Maybe something's happening there. So while I wait for Goldie to come home from her outing, I'm cooking my bacon. But I'm also reflecting on the beautiful fun things that are going on around me. I see people in that merry-go-round. They're having a good time. I'm probably going to seasick. And there's all kinds of sports and lots of kids having fun and that beautiful lawn overlooking the ocean. I want to be there in a little chair looking at them. And I see people playing volleyball. They're having a good time. I see people walking. They're walking down the beautiful seashore. They're going down a plane with their dogs. I see kids on play structures and they're running around. They look like they're having a good time. I hope Goldie's having a good time. They're a little mixer. I see that beautiful Santa Barbara Pier. That is so pretty. Lots of people are walking on that. They're having a good time. I want to be there too, but I can't. Because if I leave the bacon with the iron on it, we could have flames and fire. I think it might be getting done. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. See the grease? The grease could have been trouble. Oh my goodness, it's like in one big. Oh, okay, all right, okay. Bacon, ouch, hot, hot, hot. Ah! It's a windy day. I need to anchor down my cooking equipment. 
it's time to transfer the bacon onto the paper. I brought it for absorbent purposes. Wow, that looks pretty good. Okay, time to invert our iron. Make sure you have gloves on for this is very hot because it just finished cooking bacon. Try using a shoebox as part of the recipe. That would work well. Make it level, make sure it's still on high, and then place a cooking vessel on top. Level. And for leakage purposes, I'm putting oil on top of that too. I don't want to get any egg gooey inside that iron. It's got holes in there. I think gravity may not be to my advantage at this point of the recipe. Spray that foil. Place your little basket on top of that. And then you need to crack your egg. <laughs> and then, ouch, that hurts. Wait a minute. Oh no. You gotta crack your egg and get inside there. Oh, we gotta keep cracking. I need some hard to crack it again. Oh, okay, okay, we got action. All right. With two thumbs, pull your egg apart. There. And now that's gotta cook. While that egg's cooking, I'm toasting my other piece of bread on the other side. There. Since your cooking vessel on the widest part of the iron, for you need maximum heat for that part of the recipe, I think that's gonna work. It's hot. Your cooking vessel needs to have strong contact with the iron. I suggest using hot pads, you press down tightly. When there is strong contact, there will be cooking, I think. To further speed the process, I am now covering it with oil. I've been looking for Goldie in that pond. I don't see her. I think she's gone in some dark corner. I see ducks. Those ducks are having a good time. There's lots of flora and fauna in this area. I see a turtle. Turtles live here too. I hope turtles don't eat goldfish. If we do, we could be in trouble. Uh-oh, those ducks look vicious. I think they like goldfish too. Goldie's kind of petite for her species. I think she may be in trouble with the ducks. I hope those ducks don't find her. Uh-oh, I didn't think about that. I don't want to lose Goldie. Goldie's very sweet. She's very cute. And I'm curious about her plight in life. I care whether she meets them or not because I care about my friends. My friends need to be in love. My friends need to have love in their life. I think love brings you happiness. If you've been following my recipes, you might have noticed that things don't always go right with an iron. I am very hungry and that egg is not cooking. I need to change my methods. I'm now putting my cooking vessel on the ironing board. I have better luck with a top-down approach. As I look in that water, reflecting upon life, sometimes the things that are most important are things that go deep. Our lives are like the flowing of water. Let that flowing of water be refreshing for our lives. Let it bring us up to positive thoughts but all the beautiful things around us. I hope you come to Santa Barbara and we can go play maybe in some water and at least go swimming in a big tall martini glass. I want to make something for you with my iron. Tell me your favorite recipe. I'm going to practice. Let's check our egg. It's stuck. I told you that damn foil doesn't work. Let's do the reverse method flip. Plate upside down. Oh, look at that. Okay, time for the salt and a little pepper. Heat up that bacon one more time. How do you like my eggs? I like my eggs runny. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's soft and gooey inside. Subscribe to my channel for more Iron Cook. Let's try it. Tell me what you want me to make on Iron Cook. Mm. The moral of this story is, yes, you can make bacon with an iron. And eggs with toast. So let's keep making great things with an iron on Iron Cook.